So now that we've talked about state laws, let's dive into U.S. federal laws. A lot of people actually end up losing or having their pepper spray confiscated at airport security because they don't understand how to properly pack their pepper spray. You can bring pepper spray onto your luggage, but as you can see, there will be a few things with that. Pepper spray must be in checked luggage. You can't have it in a carry-on. Because it's a gas compound, they have to be able to secure it properly in order to ensure that it won't blow up. If you were to take it on a carry-on and it were to explode, then the entire plane, including passengers and pilots, would get affected and you could die from that. So that's, uh, that's why they don't allow it on a carry-on. It's got to be in checked luggage. It's uh, limited to four ounces. It does have to be properly packaged. Uh, I actually want you to put it in like a sealed bag so it doesn't leak or discharge or can't be more than 2% tear gas or CS specifically. And it's got to have a safety feature for accidental discharge so it doesn't leak. That's for airport security, which is pretty much the biggest thing when it comes to federal law. Now, state and federal buildings, typically you can't bring pepper spray into any secured facility. That includes courthouses jails or detention centers, prisons, federal buildings such as Social Security Administration, USPS or U.S. Postal Offices, IRS building, even if it's not a secured building, any state or federal building you can't bring pepper spray in because it's considered a weapon by law. So that's pretty much all there is to do with uh, federal laws. The biggest thing to look out for is of course airport security. Just Make sure that you're following their guidelines. You can actually go on to the, the Federal Aviation Administration's website or the FFAA to look up other stuff. And you can also give them a call too if you have any questions. The other thing is if you do pack pepper spray and you plan to put it in check luggage, be sure to actually tell airport security that you do have pepper spray so they're aware of it beforehand so you don't get held up and potentially miss your flight or anything. That's all there is for federal law. Uh, next session is going to be about pepper spray laws by country. There's several countries that allow it and don't allow it and have restrictions, so we'll be talking about that next.